morning friends and welcome to Homestead in the Woods. I'm Catherine and what I'm doing today is I'm going to start the process of harvesting the potatoes. At least I hope I'm going to be harvesting potatoes. But this is the first time I've tried growing them uh, well in this environment which is mostly shade but also I'm growing them in uh, fabric potato bags. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm just going to switch the camera. Okay, these are the, the potato bags. There's four of them here. And uh, I'm starting by just breaking off the, the greenery. And after that, I'm gonna drag them over to the area where I want the, uh, the dirt to end up. I've got a few spots that need some more dirt, so that's what I'm going to do. And these vines from the potatoes are going into this bin that will be my uh, compost. I also have a compost turner. Well, it's right here, but that's for the kitchen waste and that will get put out uh, before winter comes. But right now all of the uh, waste from my garden is going into this bin. So again, I'm going to continue on and kind of break off this greenery because I don't need that to be that's a slimy one. Um, I don't need the greenery all to be in the area where I just want the, the dirt. I'm hoping that I have some potatoes in here, but we're about to find out. Okay, I have pulled the tops off of all the potatoes in the bags. So the next step is going to be to drag it over to where I'm going to be dumping them out and we'll see what we get. Oh, we got it cat assistant down in here. She is everywhere I go when I'm in the garden. And usually there's two other cats with me as well, but I know one of them is in, in the garage eating right now. So let's pull these out and see what we get. Okay, these potato bags actually have a little trap door here where you can see sometimes what all is going on, but all I'm seeing is some root type materials here. So until I dump it over, dump everything out. I'm not going to know whether I was successful in growing any potatoes in this bag or not. So stay tuned. I'm going to put my camera down and dump it out and see what we get. Well, the concept of just dumping this out was good enough, but it's not coming out very easily. So I'm going to struggle with this for a moment. It's upside down. Nothing is coming out. So I'm going to struggle with this for a few minutes and see if we can get it out of there. So, I started putting some pressure on it and rolling it back and forth and a potato rolled out. And I look inside the bag and I can see a couple of more potatoes. So, this is looking very encouraging. I'm going to dump it all out and show you what all I get. Okay, so far I've got four potatoes. And... I'm finding some more in here. They're beautiful. It's like magic, really. All right, that's the the seed potato that started off uh, growing, so that's going to go into the compost. <coughs> but we're getting a nice little collection here. All right, that's compost. Here's another seed potato that I put in back in the early spring. So that one again will go into the compost. There's a little bitty potato. In the south these little bitty potatoes are cooked up with green beans and uh, ham and it is a delicacy. It's not something I've gotten used to doing but uh. alright here's another little seed potato that is compost. Well, I've got lots of little ones. I'm hoping my bag up. Oh, here's another larger one. Now these are just, uh, these are not russet potatoes. These are actually little Yukon Golds. Hi Jules. This is Juliet. She's here to help and Pansy is over there by the tomatoes. Are you here to help Juliet? Another piece of a seed potato there that probably didn't produce anything. All right, another 
little Yukon Gold. Hi, Jules. You're going to help me. And again, that's a, well, this is a new potato. This one, the seed potato for the compost. Got a lovely potato here. Wow, I am very, yeah, a slimy seed potato. I am very encouraged by what I'm finding here. So I planted out four bags of potatoes. And uh, there's another little one. I won't throw those away. They're still good eats. All right, I'm just going to put all of that aside for the compost. It's a little one. Why not? They can go into soup. All right, I'm going to spread this out. All right, I'm going to keep putting my phone down here and keep looking. Oh, boy. These two are laying down on the job. I thought you came to help. Yeah, lazy cats. Yeah. You're just looking pretty. Is that why you're here, Juliet? To look pretty and do your laundry. You got paws. You can dig. You can help with this. Oh, lazy cats. Okay, I'm now getting ready to empty out the third bag, but here is what I got from the second bag of potatoes, so we're going to continue on. And here we are, my four potato bags of potatoes. There's probably mm, 15 pounds of potatoes in there, so not so shabby, considering each bag only had a couple of potatoes in it. Now that all four potato bags have been emptied out and the potatoes harvested, I'm just kind of showing you again here. These are very heavy duty. They're really pretty inexpensive to purchase on Amazon. And I've got some more of these and I'm definitely going to be using them in the, in the coming years. But they are very heavy duty. I'm just going to leave them out now so that they can completely dry out before I put them away for the winter. But if you have a very small space or just don't have the ground... Um, quality that you need to grow potatoes. These are a really pretty good option and I'll do it again for sure. So here's my potato haul from the four potato bags that I used this year and I'm just going to leave them here in the cart and let the skins toughen up a little bit. What you don't want to do is start handling them, them a lot uh, as soon as they're harvested because the skins are still very fragile. So I'm just going to leave these here in the cart and the skins will toughen up a little bit and then I will clean them up and bring them in. Mm -hmm. 